What's up, YouTube? Welcome to episode 5 of Gator Glass Art. I'll be showing you how to make a vortex marble with ashes in case. This one in particular is 3 inches in diameter, and I'm making this on the lathe. And I only use dichroic glass for the vortex part, so I'll be showing you how to utilize a dichroic glass and case it without burning it out, as well as just the overall shaping of the marble. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Your mother. marble. So I'm just heating up a large area of glass and condensing it down so I can shape it. here getting that cone to the shape that I like before I start putting the ash and dichro in there. You spent two more ain't that enough. Don't you know those boots are slick on hardwood floors and I won't be ignored. Camera, I'm just heating up that cone and then I'm going to take it down to the marver and then roll one specific area right on that line of ash. Alright, so with all of the ash applied, I'm going to put the dichro on there and this can be tricky. You want to heat up the back side of the dichro so you don't burn it out and you just kind of want to have it in that outer flame so it's just heating up and then I'm really going to go in on the cone with the flame and get it nice and hot so when I put that dichro on there it's going to stick and not fall off. Paddle in that piece of dichro so it can stick to the glass. Not have any air bubbles caught in there or leave it exposed and have it burn out by accident. Now the fun part. This is where you twist up the dichro and the ashes to really get that sweet spiral vortex effect. And I really like to give it a good twist just to ensure that it's getting that full optical effect once it's lensed up. So I just get the cone nice and hot and really just blast that thing with heat. Also off camera what you did not see is that I always put a layer of clear over the dichro, so if I do need to apply some extra heat, you know, I don't necessarily have to worry about the dichro burning out as easy. Okay, so we've got to twist it up, and what I did here is applied clear over the cone. Now this is super crucial as well, you really do not want to manipulate the shape of that cone when you're adding the clear. Overall, it's really going to affect 
how the final product will look, especially with this maneuver that I'm doing right here with the marble mold. You want to essentially have the thinnest layer of clear possible right at the tip of that cone and not manipulate that shape whatsoever. And so I'm just being super careful here with that marble mold and making sure that I'm not you know, altering that shape of the cone. I apply the clear by taking a 16 millimeter rod and starting at what would be the equator of the globe or the marble and wrap it around, slowly build down up to the tip of the cone. And like I mentioned, you want to have as least clear as possible on the tip and you want to fill out that extra space, you know, moving out towards the equator. So now I'm just separating the clear that I gathered for the lens. For me, I personally like to have a 50-50 ratio between the vortex as well as the lens of it. So 50% clear and then the other 50% of the marble is the black backing of the vortex. The rest of this video is just me shaping the marble and then adding some colored dots for the backing. So sit back and enjoy. Actually knocking off a hot seal. The marble's so heavy that I was just afraid if I had a cold seal it'd fall off and either go on the lathe again or on the floor so I didn't want to risk it. But luckily since it is so heavy it's pretty easy to knock off regardless. I'm just gonna go with the mini torch and melt in that tiny bit of clear. I went in, just wanted to really make sure it's melted in. 